Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Justine, Tezel, Tita Josie. Magandang gabi po. Good evening po, Pastor. Evening po, sabi ni Giselle. Okay, while well, waiting for the others, let me fix ang ating uh, Good evening, Pastor Bong, Sister Terry. Good evening, Janine and dudes. Ikaw ngayon, Pastor Bong, ano? Tama ba? Oh, Pastor, ako ngayon. Oh. Okay, tayo na mga, mga kutaw. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Let's start. So, meron na tayo dito. Okay, we have here from Derek Jaya and Vilma to everyone listening po while working. Uh, praise support. No flat tire po kami kanina dahil sa pako po na natusok sa right rear rear tire namin. Pero praise the Lord po na nung pinurchase po pala namin yung kotse at may libre po kaming one-year tire and wheel protection. Kaya libre po ang palit ng gulong. Wow! Kasi di na po marerepair dahil sa sidewall po na tusok. I received an email po this morning regarding Joshua's green card. Wow! Na-approve daw po yung uh, expedite processing, expedited processing. And... Uh, with the help of Congressman Jimmy Gomez's office. Uh, hopefully, matanggap na po niya yung green card soon. Yes, wow. Praise the Lord. Kaka-green card na si Joshua. Actually, may green card naman siya, pero uh, na-expedite yung kanyang ano. So, thank you, uh, mga Benson and uh, mga Cruz. No? Thank you kay Jairus uh, na nag uh, tumulong kay Joshua, ganun din kay Jaya, and everybody else, kina Rachel, na Derek, everybody else. No? Thank you for helping uh, Joshua. Kasi we believe in our church na we help people to get back uh, on their feet. Uh, we're not just giving them something or mag-doll out lang, but uh, tulungan sila makabangon para meron silang self-reliance. At um, sabi nga eh, Turuan mang isda, huwag uh, bigyan ng bigyan ng isda. So, napakaganda ng balita nito. I'm sure, uh, I, I pray na uh, Joshua will capitalize on this. No? At uh, karoon na siya ng, ano, 
uh, dangal sa pamumuhay. Yun ang gusto natin mangyari. Amen. So we have here... Okay. It's okay na if you're just listening, okay lang yun. Ano? As long as kasali kayo. Uh, please invite everybody in the church. Baka kasi yung iba nahihiya, no? na they they need to speak or something. No. Kung, kung listening, listening lang kayo, okay lang yun. No? Halimbawa, uh, nag-work kayo or nagda-drive kayo or just feel like listening, not, you know, sharing. It's okay. As long as... Uh, your part of the ano uh, the sharing in in nangyayari kasi the, the the holy spirit is ministering now uh, through this uh, uh event so we welcome you mga listeners so ayan so good evening po uh ayan sabi ni pastor Cled okay listening din siya okay so uh, listening din si uh, Giselle, so we have here. Tama ba ito? Ah, si Janine pala, si Janine. So yung mga ginawa kong mga co-host, pakitulungan akong mag, uh, mag-click doon sa pagpapasok kasi uh, busy ako dito sa ating... <laughs> Ang hirap gawin ng, ano, ng mga bagay-bagay. Pagka, ano. So, sino pa? Sino pa? Ayun. Ayan. So, ito. Okay, praise support from Angeli and Edder. Uh, hindi po ako natikita sa parking sa school ni Idrik. Uh, prayer request, same as last night. Thanks po, PJ. Maingay po si Idrik. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, uh, good evening po uh, from Rachel. And uh, sabi ni Rachel, praise support po, midweek na po. At uh, praise the Lord, all goods po. Ang kids back to school week. Wow. Uh, so, I see si Rachel. Si Rachel. Yun. Okay, okay, okay. So, Let's start with uh, Tita Josie. Good evening sa iyo. Praise support and prayer request. Good evening po. Uh, praise support po. Iniyatan po kami ni Noel ng ating Panginoon hanggang sa makauwi po kami dito sa bahay. Mm-hmm. Galing kaming work. <laughs> Thank you po. At uh, ang uh, praise request ko po, prayer request ko po ay... Uh, Uh, patuloy na kagalingan ng may mga uh, sakit na mga kapatiran natin. Mm-hmm. Ilan po? Lalo na si Ganda. Lalo na si Ganda, <laughs> lalong gumanda. Na, namimiss niyo kasi <laughs> sa piging. Opo, tsaka si Tita Rose. Apo. Pakisabi yeah. kay Bob, happy birthday. Ha? Malapit na ang birthday ni Bob. <laughs> ah, pakisabi mo daw, Papa kay Bob, malapit na. Happy birthday na. Sa 26. Apo. Thank you, Tita Thank Josie. Siyempre, malapit ang birthday ni Ganda, Tita Josie. Ay, sa linggo po. Oo, oh, dapat eh, ano yan, ha? isasarado <laughs> na Third Street. At sa... <laughs> dapat magaling na siya kasi magsisita din kami. Ayun! <laughs> Sira daw yung pa. <laughs> Ayun o, tawad ng... Ayun o, tawad ng tawa. Ako po magtutulak sa kanya sa wheelchair. Ayun, <laughs> wheelchair niya. <laughs> At syempre ha, birthday din for this month ni Tita Fe Dumuk. Di ba? O, 193 na si Tita Fe. Ay, 93 lang pala. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, More years Praise to come. Praise the Lord. Amen. So magbasa muna tayo dito ng mga phone in. <laughs> so, okay, okay. John Marco, praise report po. I finished my final earlier than expected po and got home on time to join tonight. Wow. Prayer request. Uh, prayer request po is my last final po this Friday. Wow, wow, sabi ni Tricia. Praise the Lord po. And from Aileen and Daniel, good evening po, praise support. Finally, no headache po today from giving up coffee this week. Uy, prayer request, good health lang po to everyone. 
Allá. Amen, amen. Thank you, Aileen and Daniel. So, let's uh, go back to sa ating mga non-listening at uh, gusto mag-share. Let's go to Justin. Justin, good evening. Good evening, Justin. Hello? Yes, we hear you loud and clear. Uh, my prayer support is uh, uh, my family is getting better. They're recovering from their sickness. Mm -hmm. And their, uh, uh, prayer report, I mean, prayer request is that uh, God would keep us healthy. And for those who are sick, that they would be healed. Amen. Thank you, Justin, for your uh, no, bedroom voice. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Tita Bing, pwede ka ba? Tita Bing, good evening sa'yo. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, praise report po. Uh, salamat po kay God dahil iniingatan niya po ako dito sa bahay. Dahil mag-isa lang po ako dito. Simula mm -hmm. po nung Monday. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Ano ba to? Yung pa-prayer ko naman po is ingatan po ako dito habang nag-iisa. Tsaka po, ingatan din po yung family ko araw-araw. Yun lang po. Amen. Yung Tita Bing. Okay, let's go to... Uh, meron muna dito. Okay, from Tita Janet. Thank God for His protection every day. Uh, Giselle, good evening, Giselle. Good evening po. Good evening. Um, praise report ko po is more time with God as we pray and fast po and also just taking advantage of this time po to prepare myself para po sa praise and worship po for Friday and Sunday and just embracing His presence po. And prayer request naman po, same po din po, um, smooth last semester of college and Mga aasikasuhin din po for graduation. Maging maayos po lahat. And yun lang po. Thank you. Salamat, Giselle. Let's go now to CJ. CJ, good evening. Pwede ka ba? Good evening po sa ating lahat. Uh, praise report po. Yun, um, still thanking God for His blessings, provisions, and uh, protection po sa araw-araw po. And... Um, Prayer request po is um, ayun po, continuous healing po sa lahat ng may sakit and um, continuous processing po ng aking papers sa ito. Thank you, CJ. Uh, Pastor Bert, good evening sa'yo. Pastor Bert. Pastor Bert, good evening. Ay, magandang gabi po. Ah, uh... Race report, uh, nakapagatid ng family friends sa airport kanina kahit na heavy traffic <laughs> early morning. And... Oh, si David po. Si David, hindi, hindi po si David, yung uh, taga-Canada, yung kaibigan natin sa Canada. Mm. So... Ang praise report naman eh, ay yung prayer request eh, kay Sister LD. She's not feeling well at uh, medyo meron siyang headache. <laughs> mm. So yun lang po siguro. And yung ano, uh, prayer request uh, si na James at yung asawa niya eh, coming from Florida eh, pauwi sila ngayon. Uh, now hindi sila nabutan nung, ano, nung storm. <laughs> Mm. Um, yan lang po. Thank you po. Thank you, Pastor Bert. Okay. Uh, we have next uh, Tita Fe. Good evening, Tita Fe. Sabi dito, si, si David po ay nandito. Siya po ang drummer sa Sunday. He, he, he. Yes, yes, yo. Hindi na po uuwi, Char. <laughs> Ayun na paalisin si David. Ha? <laughs> Itali na yan. Para di mo kalis. <laughs> Good evening, Tita Fe. Yes po. Good evening, everybody. 
My first report is that uh, I praise and thank the Lord for being so faithful. He answered prayers and uh, he has been so good, so faithful all the time. I praise him and thank him and adore him. And for my request, it's something common among all of us tonight that we continue to pray for one another, free from sickness, free from accidents, free from anything that is unlike God, free, free from attacks of the enemy. Uh, pray for our church, for our families, members of the church, and for everybody else. So that we can we we will be strong. We pray together, we pray for one another. It's a big defense. And uh, uh, God will surely answer our prayers, our corporate prayers. Thank you. And thank you, Tita Fe. Happy birthday sa iyo. Pastor Jeff talaga. All right. Good evening, uh, Brother James. Pwede ka ba, Brother James? Okay. Uh, lang po. Makinig lang po muna ako. May sakit po ako, Pastor Jeff. Ah, sige, sige, sige. Pasama ka namin sa, sa prayer. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Brother James. Uh, Sister Darren, good evening. Hi, good evening po, everyone. Um, I thank and praise God po na natapos yung blood test ni Nat Nat kanina um, mm -hmm. for lead exposure, I think, para sa mga bata na pinaparequest ng doctor. Mm -hmm. So thank God uh, na tapos na. Although grabe yung iyak ni Nat Nat, parang mawala ng hininga <laughs> uh, kaiyak. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also, prayer request ko po, Pastor, um, ano, masakit po kasi yung chan ko since, ano, two days na po, yung sikmura. Siguro na ni Bago sa, kasi hindi ako nag-dinner. Yan po, yung fasting ko. O, oh, siguro. Oo. Oh. 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 Yun lang. Stomach pain. Okay. okay, thank you, Darren. I hope you feel better. Okay, let's go now to Sister Janet. Good evening. Kuya Manny, good evening sa inyo. Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Um, mm. Prayer request. Um, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon kasi yung bakasyon ng mga bata, it's totally different encounter with mm. the Lord. Lalo na si, si Janelle when we had this opportunity to talk. And uh, she's just, um, I was just amazed how God is uh, bringing her into play in a place na ma-recognize niya na kulang pa yung kanyang, kumbaga, she, she needs more of God. And I just thank God for that. Saka yung importance mm -hmm. ng family. And uh, nakita niya yung relevance ng family nung umuwi siya ng Pilipinas. So I just, I thank God for that encounter, Pastor. So sa prayer okay. request po, yeah. Ah, uh, yung kanyang pagpasok sa college, yun, nagsisimula na raw siya magpray talaga. She's starting to really seek God with 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 her heart. So yun po. So God's direction for her uh college entry, parang ganun po pasta. Kanyang college life. Thank you po. Thank you po. Um I have uh I I I have the same ano uh, realization din uh, kagaya ng kay, kay Janet. Ay, kay Janet, kay Janel. And uh, uh feel na feel ko yung ano eh nung pagpasok mo doon sa LAX, sabi nung immigration officer, uh welcome home sir. Naramdaman ko na I'm home. Alam mo yun, parang I thought uh ang home ko yung Philippines pero Uh, na-realize ko ang home ko eh Los Angeles kasi not, not because I don't want to be a Filipino pero nandito yung mga mahal ko nandito yung importante sa akin nandito yung ministry ko nandito yung dami, dami madami akong realization nung umuwi ako and I'm so blessed talaga talagang uh, napapaluhalo ako every time na ma 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 maalala ko na 
sasabihin ko sa Lord na thank you Lord at uh, bless mo ako, dinala mo ako sa US. Uh, so thank, talagang sobrang thankful ako dahil isa ako sa pinili ng Diyos na mapunta dito sa US at uh, makapagdikod sa Kanya. So yun din, same realization kami. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, let's go now to the Anastasios, Aldrin and Jasmine. Ayan. Good evening, birthday girl. Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, praise report po, Pastor. Um, nakapaglinis na ako kanina. Maayos na ang mm-hmm. aking ano. Uh, hindi ko masyado pinapwersa, pero mas masaya, mas masaya po ngayon dahil nagagawa ko yung mga dating ginagawa ko everyday po. And mm-hmm. uh, kanina nagulat din ako kasi papunta ko dito sa computer from sa couch. hindi ko kailangan na dahan-dahan. Nagulat na lang ako, nakaupo na ako dito. Sabi ko mm-hmm. kay Aldrin, no, sabi ko, nakaupo na ako. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Kasi talagang, eh, talagang struggle ako, first story. Kaya, na, masaya talaga akong thank you, Lord, talaga. Thank you mm-hmm. po sa prayer po talaga. And, mm-hmm. prayer request. May po prayer request po, <laughs> pastor, yung, yung family po nung isang former gila, si, uh, Uh, Rafi Estura, na, namatay po siya yesterday. So, prayer for the family, for comfort and peace. Yun lang po. I know. Nakakalungkot naman. Bata pa yun ah. Opo, mas bata pa po sa akin yun. Late 30s pa lang po yun. Anong kinamatay niya? Um, hindi pa po ko sinasabi. Ah, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. well... Good thing we had an opportunity to share to them uh, uh, the the free gift of salvation from Jesus. So every Saturday naman we shared the gospel and I, I, I just hope na he accepted Jesus no? as he saved. Amen. Thank you, Anastasio. So we have here uh, Sister LV uh, pray for healing. For Sister LV. Uh, all right. And prayer request po ulit, the healing of John Boogs. May sakit daw po ngayon at praying na hindi po sila mahawa. Okay, no? Alagay natin dito si John Boogs. Okay. Also, pray for me. Uh, medyo nag-worsen yung aking uh, knee pain. Uh, na nasa Philippines ako, namaga siya. So, Eh, hirap akong lumakad ngayon. And uh, so, please uh, remember my knee pain. Uh, tagal ko ng problema to. I pray na mawala na to. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Kiko. Uh, prayer request and praise report. Namiss ko si Kiko. Ah. Kiko, pwede ka ba? Okay, balikan natin si Kiko. Good evening sa iyo, Shane. Prayer request and uh, praise report. Uh, good evening po. Um, papasalamat lang po ako na magkasama kami po ni Shady today and uh, we get to spend time with each other po. And, um, she was saying po na she's hoping po that she will be reunited with me again. Um, that's my prayer request po kasi... she's been saying that her mom doesn't bring her to church anymore and her best friends are in our church and she's very happy with um our ministry so she's um asking po if um she's hoping po and she even told me like um like um i like i think amara go about the court hearing she said don't worry daddy um we, um we have the lord trust the lord imagine mo bata pa yun ang sabi niyan sa akin so So yun lang po sana pagdasal niyo po kami ni Shelly po na we will be reunited po. Amen. Amen. Thank you Shane. Uh before we go to Pastor Bong uh for the devotion for tonight, uh let me share to you no. I had an opportunity uh to uh attend uh CCF no. And uh, I got this from them. So reminder then before we pray and fast no sabi dito uh, why should we fast no god expects us to fast uh, jesus fasted the early church fasted fasting demonstrates 
uh, humility before God. No, uh, fasting makes us uh, sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Fasting brings about personal and national spiritual revival, and fasting is good for our health. So, what are the types of fast? Normal fast? No, a normal a person goes without food for a predetermined amount of time. Water is allowed and necessary. So uh, I will not recommend this if you are you know, having trouble with your uh, uh, health, mema health issues. Kayo. So partial, a person only eats certain kinds of food for a period of time or have just one to two meals a day. So this is more recommendable partial. Juice fast, no? a partial fast, especially uh, specifically restricted only to juices. So okay din to. Object fast, no? fasting from uh, watching television, using social media, or using the computer outside of work or school. So starting your fast, it is important to start and end your fast gradually. Dahan-dahan, huwag niyong bibiglayin, huwag niyong suddenly kay kakain. And pag binrake niyo naman sa Friday, sudden naman, kakain kayo ng marami. Or magbubuffet kayo kasi gutom na gutom. So huwag niyong gagawin yan. Gradual din. Start cutting down on your food intake, especially those with caffeine, coffee, tea, soft drinks, no? days before your fast. More importantly, pray in advance for God to sustain you physically, mentally, and spiritually during your fast. No? When ending your fast, for the first few meals after your fast, do not immediately go back to your formal or, or sorry, normal food intake. Taking soft food in moderate amounts is best to allow your body to adjust and get back to its normal digestion. Take note, while there are benefits in fasting, some should not fast without professional medical supervision. If you are physically too thin, prone to eating disorders, suffering from weakness or anemia, diagnosed with ailments that require continuous nutrition, pregnant or nursing, ano ibig sabihin nagpapadede, taking a prescription medication. No? Consult your doctor before you begin your fast. Okay? So, malinaw yun. So, let's go now to our um, devotion. Welcome to your Simbang Pinoy. Uh, this is your 2024 prayer and fasting. No? Uh, kumbaga, naka-include siya sa ating upper Zoom. So we have here also a uh, prayer request po for Maureen Tamayo na maging maganda po yung result ng kanyang mammogram. Okay. So we will pray for that also. Um, pray support and prayer request. Tapos na tayo. So tayo dadako sa pagbubulay-bulay ng salita ng Diyos or sa ating devotional. So Pastor Bong, please take it away. Yeah, maraming salamat Pastor. Uh, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Ang ating uh, topic ngayon is uh, tungkol sa what um, it's about woman at the wells, yun, Samaritan woman. And ang reference natin is uh, John chapter 4 verses 4 to uh, 42. So, <clears throat> basahin natin. Uh, verse 4. Now, uh, that that was Jesus, he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sikar, near the plot of, of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into, into the town to buy food. Uh, verse 9, The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who is it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. 
Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with, and that well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, Call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus said, uh, replied, Believe me, a time is coming when you worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is his spirit, and his worshipers must, must worship him in the spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming when he comes. He would explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am he. Just then, his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman. But no one asked, "Why do you, what do you want, or why are you talking with her? Then, leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, Come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? They came out of the town and made their way toward him. Meanwhile, his disciple asked him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do you know nothing about. Then his disciples said to each other, Could someone have brought him food? My food, Jesus said, is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Don't you have a saying? It's still four months until harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now, the one who reaps draws a weights and harvests a crop for eternal life, so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Just a saying, one sows, another reaps is true. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work, and you have reaped the benefits of their labor. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this man really is the savior of the world. Uh, okay, so that's the reading. So uh, this is the point sign of sis. Ito lang yung na na research ko. Um, the story of the nameless Samaritan woman at the well. Recorded in the early Gospel of John is a re revealing one, full of many truths and powerful lessons for us today. 
the story of the woman at the well follows on the heels of the account of Jesus' interaction with Nicodemus, a Pharisee and prominent member of Jewish Sanhedrin. We read about Jesus' conversation with a lone Samaritan woman who had come to get water from the well known as Jacob's Well, located about half a mile from the city of Sikar in Samaria. Um, this was an extraordinary, extraordinary woman. She was a Samaritan, a race of people that Jews utterly despised as having no claim on their God. And she was an outcast and looked down upon by her people. This is evidenced by the fact that she came alone to draw water from the community well when during the biblical times, Drawing water and chatting at the well was the social high point of a woman's day. However, the woman was ostracized and marked as immoral, an unmarried woman living openly with a six in a series of men. The story of the woman at the well teaches us that God loves us in spite of our bankrupt lives. God values us enough to actively seek us, to welcome us to intimacy, and to rejoice in our worship. As, as a result of Jesus' conversation, only a person like the Samaritan woman, an outcast from her own people, could understand what this means to be wanted, to be cared for, when not even herself could see anything of value in her. This is grace indeed. That, But there are many other valuable truths we can glean from this story. We learn that only through Jesus Christ can we obtain and receive eternal life. Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The second uh, lesson that we can learn is Jesus ministering to these those outcasts of the Jewish society, the Samaritans, reveals that all people are valuable to God and that Jesus desires that we demonstrate love to everyone, inclu including our enemies. The third one is Jesus is the Messiah. Fourth, those who worship God worship Him in in the spirit and in truth. The fifth is our testimony about Jesus is a powerful tool in leading others to believe in Him. Many of the Samaritans from that town believe in Him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritan, Samaritans came to him, they urged, urged him to stay with them. And he stayed two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves. And we know that this man is really is the savior of the world. Additionally, we learn from Jesus' dialogue with the woman at the well three absolute truths about salvation. Salvation only comes only to those who recognize their desperate need for the spiritual life they do not have. Living water can be obtained only by those who recognize that they are spiritually thirsty. Second, salvation comes only to those who confess and repent of their sin and desire forgiveness. Before, before this immoral woman could embrace the Savior, she had to concede the full burden of her sins. And the last one, salvation comes only to those who take hold of Jesus as their Messiah. For the absolute truth is that salvation is found in no one else. So, ayun po yung uh, summary ng uh, woman at the well. So, yung uh, pan po natin, uh, tip. First question is, 
how can you relate to the uh, experience of the woman at the well? Second is, what lesson can we derive from the woman at the well? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor Bong. Ako, uh, I relate na relate ako to the woman at the well. No, I can relate in a way that I I am being reminded that uh, of my sinful nature and mga sin mga sinful things na uh, deeds na ginawa ko, and um, also uh, one thing na nakita ko magandang take away talaga yung without humility, without submission. Katulad na sinabi mo, there's no salvation. Eh. No, kasi kung hindi na, kung nagmataas yung woman at the well, eh di wala siyang salvation, di ba? Pero hindi eh, talagang inamin niya yung kanyang pagkakamali, no? Um there, there is always this time na tinatawag na encounter with Jesus eh, no? na talagang he will tell you what you are doing na mali. And then yun yung golden moment mo. Kung aamin ka o hindi. Madaming tao ay umamin. Madaming tao mataas ang, ang pride or ano alam niyo. Pero uh, sa lahat ng mga biblical characters na umamin, nagpa, nagpatiklop tuhod at uh, umiyak at uh, lumuhod sa Panginoon, ay nakatanggap ng eternal salvation. So yun yung key talaga. Eh. There must be humility in the heart. There must be repentance. No? At... Uh, Uh, pag-amin ang ginawa natin mali. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor Bong. So, let's go now to uh, let's go now to Justin. Justin, good evening. Good evening, Justin. Uh, any take away? Uh, Pastor Bong, may kisulat yung uh, ano po, yung uh, question niyo sa chat natin para mabasa nila. Go ahead, Justin. Can I see the question? Okay, itatype ni Pastor Bong. Uh, the, question, the question is, uh, uh, baga, what is your, uh, well, can, how can you identify doon sa woman at the well and as well as um, uh, How do you see yung 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 what is your takeaway the experience of woman at the well? Parang ganun. So let's I, see. I, I, uh, Pastor Bong is typing the the question. Um I guess my takeaway is that Jesus is the only thing that can satisfy us, can fulfill us. Because every, everybody has um, a void in their hearts. And God created us um, to be in communion with Him. And if we're not in communion with Him, we feel empty. Um, and we, we don't really understand our purpose. But Um, like the Samaritan woman, when I realized that, um, that only Jesus could satisfy, um, our hearts, then, um, it, it humbles you because you know that there's nothing you can do. It's a gift from God only by his grace. Amen. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. Lahat tayo may void sa heart, eh, no? And only Jesus can fill that up. Uh, specifically, kasi malungkot yun, eh. If you are jumping from one relationship to another, imagine having five husbands. No? <clears throat> Kumbaga, there's ano, a, a huge void sa heart ng babae na yun. And uh, most of the times, people, if they don't, if they cannot find love within, you know, within the the family or within a group of friends, they they find love, you know, into different relationships. No? So, because void that only Jesus can fill up that void. Yeah, I agree with that, Justine. 
Thank you, Justin. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Good evening. What's your takeaway, Pastor Bert? Good evening po. Yung takeaway ko po dun sa Samaritan woman ay yung uh, he acknowledged Jesus na is not only a man or a prophet, but at the end he acknowledged him as the Messiah, their Savior. Ako naman po eh, for so long na uh, I was raised as a Catholic and I had no idea. I have an idea that there is a God, but I don't know who God really is until such time uh, in the process na when I was uh, invited in a group in, uh, in our university. That is the time that uh, I encounter the real Messiah. So, yun po, na from Blanco, kung sino si Jesus sa akin, eh, nung nakilala ko siya, eh, yung kulang nalaman na siya pala yung nagapagligtas ko. And from that time on, uh, kagaya ng Samaritan woman, like us as Gentile, no? even though we are not chosen, but God extended our His grace towards us. So yan po, yung grace ng Panginoon na ako'y kanyang niligtas at pinatawad ang aking kasalanan ay as well, kagaya ng woman at the well, he came back and to share no? to those uh, sa kanyang mga kalahi. Ganon din po sa akin, ang nakilala kong Panginoon. I cannot uh, keep it for myself but uh, share the good news first and foremost uh, sa aking family then later on uh, sa mga ibang uh, uh, tao na pinamalita hanggang ngayon uh, continuously uh, testifying and sharing the that our God is Jesus himself, our Messiah. Siya yung ating nagapagligtas at siya ang ating hinahanap ng mga tao maging sa panahon na ito. Continue testifying about His goodness ng ating Panginoon. So, yun po. Uh, ano pa po yung second question? O, yan na po ata. <laughs> Thank you po. At maraming salamat po. Thank you, Pastor Bert. So the questions are, how can you relate to the woman's encounter with Jesus? Second question, what lesson can we learn from the woman at the well? From Edder and Angeli, I feel whenever I sin now as a Christian and as I'm getting closer to Jesus, I feel a sense of guilt and a quick and I kick and I quickly convict myself of that sin. I ask for forgiveness from God right away, and every time I commit the same sin. I ask for forgiveness again, and I know I am forgiven because God is merciful. I am forgiven because God, uh, because uh, back then I didn't think twice about the sins I would commit. Now I try to be very careful of my actions and words because also feel because uh, I also feel the Holy Spirit sets me straight and leads me to the right way. I hope na answer ko po and uh, relevant sa topic kumu. Kumuha po kasi ako ng laundry a few minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Anjali. Okay. So, ano yun? Ano, napakaganda na. Ano, ano, kumbaga, uh, that, is a, that is a sign of maturity. You know, when, whenever you, you na, na distinguish mo agad, oh, it's mali yung ginawa ko. So, nag-repent ka kaagad. No? So, that's a, that's a good attitude. Okay. Thank you, uh, Edder and Anjali. Okay. Uh, Good evening, CJ. Your turn. Any input, CJ? Or you want to answer the question? Good evening, pa. Uh, but tapos sa pagmag type. <laughs> Ita type ah, ko na lang po. Ah, sige, type so, ko na. na po, um, pina finalize ko lang po yun. Tina type. Ah, Thank you, pa. Tama, tama tina type mo yan. Sabi dito, 
ni uh, John Marco, uh, God offers us salvation willingly and freely despite our sinful nature. The woman exemplifies humility in the Lord. I can relate to the woman by openly conversing with God and admitting my wrongdoings. I know that God is greater and more significant than me. It always amazes me how God is willing to go after us and give us salvation even though we have are not so even though we are not worthy of it. Furthermore, the woman shows how powerful our testimonies are and how they can change and move people. Amen. From Aileen and Daniel, God is a merciful God. No matter how much you've sinned in the past or continue to sin, if we repent and acknowledge our sins, He will forgive them. Uh, having a strong self-awareness of our actions is very important to avoid committing the same sin over and over. Amen. So, uh, reminder din naman, ano, kumbaga, let's not uh, repeat the same, same sin or over and over. No? Uh, repentance means talaga is a change of heart and you're willing not to sin again. Pero syempre, sometimes no, it takes maturity na para maiwasan talaga yung Meron kasi tayong ano eh, sin na ano eh, na kumbaga medyo hirap tayo doon pero the Holy Spirit promise naman that uh, he will help us no uh, to be victors in Christ. Amen. So good evening Tita Fe Dumog. Good evening, good evening sa inyo. It's your turn. Hmm. Okay. Sa akin itong Dialogue with Jesus Christ and this and this woman demonstrates God's love for everybody. And what he said, the illustration that he gave, Jesus gave to the woman was very clear to the woman. The woman understood right away and she accepted the offer. And uh, uh i i really uh can see how good it is that the woman had believed jesus she did not have doubt she believed what jesus said and she didn't doubt and and she was blessed and uh, not only did she receive salvation she was willing uh, to to she thought of people also she shared the gospel of salvation to people around her um in my case since we were small uh we had this my mom and my dad would gather us around there were only two of us though during the time when we started it and uh, my mother and dad would explain to us the love of God and how we should be obedient to the Lord. And uh, from that time that my mom and my, my dad had explained the love of God, his mercy, and the great works that uh, the God would do, uh, healing, like healing, provision, and everything, we believed everything that they said. There was no doubt in my heart. I, Talking about myself, I didn't see anything objectively, but I, I, by faith, I received them. I believed everything. And uh, when I reached the age of accountability, I had the same spirit of the woman. I never doubted. Whatever I heard about God, I would receive it by faith. And until I became an adult, I have, I always, uh, I'm, I have been always faithful to the Lord. So, uh, in this kind of spirit, it makes God happy. And on the other hand, if we have a different attitude, we reject God's offer of salvation. It breaks the heart of God. This dialogue here explains. God's mercy for the grace of Jesus Christ and the dis God's desire is for everybody to receive eternal life. Thank you, Pastor. 
Amen. Thank you, Tita Fe. Uh, before we go to Sister Darren, uh, uh, let me uh, read some uh, phone-in question. <laughs> okay, we have here from Rachel. Take away. We should try our very best not to sin. Lalo na po kung paulit-ulit. Mm -hmm. And when we sin, just in case... Uh, just in case po, we should have humility to ask for forgiveness. And dapat po ma-appreciate din natin yung mga taong nire-rebuke tayo dahil ginagamit po sila ni Lord to direct us. Huwag po tayong magtatampo. And pag din po sa mga mahal natin, may nakita po tayo hindi tama, we should correct them equipped by wisdom and knowledge from the Lord. Amen. From Aldrin, my takeaway po is a verse, uh, sa verse 21 where Jesus said, Believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seek. It means that uh, we can worship Jesus anytime and anywhere. May it be at work, school, home, church, doing uh, chores, stock and traffic, we can pray to God and give Him praise and worship. Whatever our status in life, uh, what season we are experiencing, we can still choose to worship our living God in spirit and in truth. Amen. From Giselle, take away. What I learned from this book is that his salvation is for everyone, kahit yung, ah, uh, teka lang po, di natapos yung send. <laughs> ayan, yung, ano, yung, ano, ayan, bitin ako. <laughs> yung outcast ng society. Kasi yung Samaritan woman po, she was considered inferior because of her sex, ethnicity, and relationship. Pero binaliwala yun ni Jesus kasi Jesus saw her need for salvation. So this is a good reminder po na Jesus cares for each and every one of us. Despite our status or our circumstances, and we can also apply this book. In a way, we can spread His word openly to. Uh, we can we can spread His word openly to all, even to people whom society label as uh, low or unworthy. Amen. I agree with that. Thank you, Jazel and uh, Rachel. Okay. Good evening, Sister Darren, and also thank you, Al. Um, sa akin naman po, one way to uh, uh, believe uh, everyone to Jesus is through our testimony. Because I believe na yung testimony, testimony natin kay Jesus is a power, powerful tool in leading others to believe in Him. And also, yung encounter ng Samaritans at ni Jesus, it reveals that all people are valuable to God. And si Jesus gusto niya na demonstrate natin yung pagmamahal natin sa, sa lahat, uh, including na yung enemy din natin. Yan lang po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Darren. Good evening, Shane. It's your turn. Sige, habang hinihintay natin si Shane, uh, basahin muna natin yung... Uh, uh, ito na po. Okay, go ahead, Shane. Um, sa akin po, I don't know if this is real, pero sa nakita ko po is we, should, we shouldn't judge anybody because kahit ganyang ka-inferior ka po yung Samaritan woman po, Jesus did not judge um, the woman. So, in fact, um, in our culture po, uh, we, we are so easy to judge anybody uh, depending on our perspective. I'm guilty of that one too. So um, I guess we, um, we in fact engage in chismes and things like those. Um, siguro the best thing to do po is instead of judging someone because everybody deserves salvation as what we've seen in the reading today is instead of judging po, we should just pray for them so that you know everybody would be saved, including ourselves. Thank you po. Amen. Thank you, Shane. Do not judge uh, anybody. Depend on ethnicity, sa race, uh, sex, sa gender, whatever. Yes, Aldrin, you're raising your hands. Go ahead. Hey, Alison. Hey, Alison. 
Go, Alison. Go. So, for me naman po, ang pinaka nakarelate po ako dun sa Samaritan woman is dun sa verse 15, yung after nga na yung Jesus talked about dun sa about the water and then the woman replied to him na, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. So, dun, dito ko po na-realize na yung sinasabi ni Jesus na water is about spiritual thirst. Na... And then me continually thinking of how only Jesus can fulfill that spiritual thirst. Na only Him can satisfy. fulfill and satisfy us. Na yung we know that ourselves that we are broken, but because of Him we are full. Parang yun po yung natitake ko po. And that's how I can relate to this woman is how he is e- she is eagerly asking for the Lord like. Where can she get this from? But then all along, it's been in front of her. So, yun po. Amen. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, thank you. From Carl James, take away ko po is the Bible verses from uh, John 4, 21 to 24, wherein Jesus mentioned that true worship is not only based on specific location, but we worship in spirit and in truth. Our worship does not start and end every Sunday. But rather, we should worship every day, even though our high, even though uh, through our highs and lows, or just normal days of our lives. These verses reminds us that when we worship, we should have a genuine and sincere connection to God. Through worship, we recognize that God is in control. We remember God's faithfulness, and we find peace in His presence. Amen. Thank you, CJ. Kanda naman. Good evening, Sister Janet.